I'm Steven Soleil, joined in the booth by my partner, the All-American Hudson Rawlings. As we get set for our first matchup, the host Brown Bears in the dark caps and Claremont Mudscripts in the white caps. On the day as they go three on one. Here's Golub. She slides it over. Shot and a goal. That was Emily Suong, unable to capitalize the first time, but she gets her first goal of the season. Yeah, and that is a textbook three-on-one counterattack there. Commit the goalie to the right side of the cage, the far overpass towards the one, and Suong with a great finish. Space to continue the offense possession. Two whistles, as we might see here, as we get an entry pass and the lob and a finish. That was Sophia Golub. Sophie Golub, excuse me, able to get that one to go. Yeah, she got inside water right there and just had great touch to go over the keeper. But as I was mentioning, Stephen, usually when you hear two whistles, that indicates an exclusion. So sides of the pool. Here's Golub. Back to Suong. She shoots and she scores. Great one-two play there from Suong and Golub. Collapse into the zone. And a skip shot and a goal. That was Aubrey Anderson, the freshman, gets her first goal of her collegiate water polo career. Yeah, and that was a great finish from Anderson there. Typically in a 4-5 zone, what we see is that the field player is going to get the near side shooting lane. She wasn't there, so the goalie had to adjust farther over. Anderson recognizing that and taking the ball across cage. Looking to isolate for Sierra Martin. They get it to her. Step out, shot and a goal. And just like that, we're all knotted up. 18 seconds into this third period, the Bears able to get that one to go with Sierra Martin. Yeah, it's a textbook offensive possession. Get the ball to the side of your center, enter the ball, and she's able to make a good strong side turn and a finish. Typical 3-3. Here's Suong, skip shot and a goal. A lot of water in front of her. She slides it over, they're looking for the isolation. They get it inside, shot and a goal. It's Poncier, able to get that one to go. And three quick ones from the Bears in the first two minutes here, Hudson. Yeah, and that was another great offensive play here. Just a center and a quick shot. There's nothing the goalie can do on that one. They get it up top, and a shot and a goal. On that side is there's a full turn, and a pass, and a shot and a goal. Great individual effort there from Ella Palmer, and she feeds Sierra Martin on the doorstep. Yeah, that is a fantastic individual effort there, going with the weak side turn, establishing the inside water, and getting that second defender to commit. Heads up play here with the lob pass over. That's an excellent individual play. She rises, she shoots, and she scores. Lead as we see here. The weak side pass, Suong able to catch that one and just redirect it near side. Get into their drop, here's Palmer, fakes it. And a lob shot from no angle and a goal from Aubrey Anderson. Poncier. You see here just a little flick lob over the top of the goalie. Here's Golub, five on the penalty. It's Golub and a quick shot and a goal. It's Claire Poncier by a final score of 18 to 14.